everybody. I hope everybody's having a really good week this week. So this week, what's popping and dropping is a chicken pop-up. Isn't that cool? We got a little chicken here. And I did use our little clasp that only needs paper. I don't like how it's holding it. So we're going to try a different one um, today. But you can use this. And we are going to do this different. We're going to attach him to it. But you don't have to. If you don't attach him to it, you can... If you're sending it to a kid or somebody, it doesn't have to be a kid, they can take it off and play with it. So it's totally up to you how you want to do your card. So why don't we go ahead and we are going to head over to Design Space and I am going to show you what you'll get in this file. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we are here in Design Space, when you open your file, it will look something like this. This gray piece is going to be for your acetate piece if you're going to use this type of card base. Don't forget to go up and name and save your project and add any additional pieces that you would like to add. So why don't we go ahead and get all of our pieces cut out and I'll meet you at the craft table and I'll show you how we're going to put this together. I'll see you there. Okay guys, now that we are back at the table, what we can do is go ahead and work our three score lines that we have on our card base. So why don't we do that? Okay, so now we have our card base work, and I want mine to open like so. So this is going to be the top, and we'll open the flat, like pulling back to us. For this card, I'm going to use magnets. You can use the other card base that I showed at the beginning of this video and I will leave the link so you know where to go to see that video if you want to watch how to put it together. So now let's get our pretty paper out and I am going to be using four magnets. Also the center of my circles I kept and I am going to use that for the back of my card for a message and I just took one of my other circles and cut the edges off to make it fit inside like so and I'm going to put that on the back of it so for our magnets let's get those out now when you go to put your card together it's going to open like this okay so our flap will be folded over and then we'll have smooth clean edges and they'll fold down like this. So what we can do is we'll need some sort of tape to hold our little magnets down, but we'll glue around it. So what I'm going to do is put tape on my magnet. Both of my magnets I have. So then I'm going to tear this piece off. And about right there is where I'm sticking that magnet. You just want this flap to hide it. Like so. We have that piece here. Now what we're going to do is get another piece of tape. And we're just going to pop it on top of our top magnet and then let's tear the top off of this tape you have glue dots you can use glue dots on top of these instead of tearing tape so 
So we have our tape on top. And with our card lip open, we are just going to fold it over like so. And then we'll pull our magnets apart. And then we have it in place exactly where we want it. So now that we're finished with this section, we can put glue all around and then just fold our piece down like so. So let's do that. So we have glue on our lip there. And then we're just going to fold it over and give it a second to dry. And now that we have our magnet on the front, we can find our pretty paper for it and go ahead and lay it down. So let's do that. Now we want our acetate and we want to put it on before we go any further. And the best way I find to do this is using tape. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Okay, now that we have our acetate on, we can go ahead and finish up and put the rest of our pretty paper on. So let's go ahead and do that. guys so we have our car base done in that look how cute love it okay so what we can do is set that piece aside and we can get out our balls that we need to make so i have my ball out i've already made one i'm going to walk through this one with you guys for the second one so first thing we're going to do is work all of our score lines. So I like to do the bottom one first. But you can work it any way that feels right to you. There's no wrong way. Then I'm going to work all my tabs on top. Then once we have those worked, we need to figure out and make sure our balls are going the same way. So you want to make sure these two pieces are matching up. So like they're kissing. And then if we fold, hold the two tabs at the top. And then if we fold it over. And if these tabs are meeting, we don't have it the right way. So we need to turn it around. So I flipped it over. Two are still kissing. And we now have opposite tab so we want a tab on this side and a tab on the right side so i can open it back up place an x on the inside so we know this is where we want to fold these tabs into okay so we've done that so what we can do is put a little glue on this and glue those two pieces to each other like that alrighty so let's do that and when you are putting these together we want to try to be as precise as we can because the more accurate these line up the better they will come together so we have our glue and we're just going to kiss them together 
and then once we have our end glued together like so I like to do my tabs on the inside so we're going to put a little glue and fold them in to our inside of our ball like so so let's do that we have four of them to do and after we get glue on these we'll need to take one of these and we're going to glue it on top of that and that helps secure and make our ball sturdier so now i'm going to take one of my pieces here and glue it on top and this ball is actually bigger than our ball we did last week for the caterpillar so I'm going to go just finish the rest of my tabs up. Now that we have our piece glued, we can put our pretty pieces on. So why don't we go ahead and do that? each other and our support tabs down pretty pieces down what we can do is flip this piece over and pay attention to what side you have your slit on because that's the side we're going to work the opposite of so if your slit is over here we're going to work on our right side but before we start closing it up, we're going to need a rubber band, which is the Alliance rubber band size 12, 1 and 3 fourths by 1 and 16th inch. These work really good. And we're going to hold it in our hand, put it through the slit, and you'll hear it click in. Then once it's in, fold it over, and because our slit is over here, we want to work our right side. So what I'll do is put my finger in between here, fold the tabs in like so, and then we're just going to glue them to each side. So let's do that. So we have our next one completed, so it's looking like this. Now we'll go to our next tab. Fold them in, fold them in, put a little glue on the tabs and put it together. You just want to try to get these lined up as straight as possible. Now we are to our tabs, our big tab with our hole in it. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're just going to fold them in and line them up and then kiss them together. So let's do that. And I sometimes put my finger in and give the tab on the inside a nice squish together. So I don't get any glue on my inside of my ball. Now we have this. So what we need to do, if you're going to use a brad, I'm going to use one. And that's going to be our bottom uh, piece. You don't have to. I'll show you in a minute why I want to use a brad. You need to go ahead and put the brad in one of the holes whichever hole you put it in that will be the bottom ball then once we get our brad in you'll just pull it apart like i did here 
so it stays in place. Then we're going to take our rubber band and we are just going to stretch it across and be careful not to bend our little straight piece here. You want to make sure you, to hear it click in the hole and don't stretch your tab out. So it should look like that. And this would be the time you want to make sure that your ball is pushing down okay. It's not too tight, not too loose. And then we can go ahead and close this bad boy up. So just start with one of our tabs, squish it down. And we're going to put glue and then put it together just like we did the other. So let's go ahead and finish that off. And then we have our cute little ball done. Now I just want you to notice I didn't line this one up so good so it's off. But that's okay. It gives it character. But if we take our time it will line up much better. Okay, so we have our two little balls. And what we can do now is get out our pieces to um, decorate our little chick. Now there's two sets of um, eyes in the box. If you want it to be a girl, there's eyelashes. And if you don't, there is one without eyelashes in there. Okay, so we know the one with the pin in the bottom is our bottom one. So this one will be our top piece. But when we lay our little ball, right? If you notice, I have him kind of offset on the other one. So if you smush it down, you can see we have little... It's not directly lined up with each other like a sandwich. We're going to turn it just a little to kind of off-center it. Like so. Okay. So once you have it figured out where you like it, and again, I'm going to show you how this one is. It's off center. There you go. You can kind of see it. So if you gently let it up, you can see if that's how you would like your ball. So I think I like mine like so. So what I'm going to do is make sure my tab's on the bottom. My, I mean, my brad is on the bottom, and it is. So I'm going to turn this over and put glue on the bottom of this. And then line him up how I want him. And then just smush him down. And you want to give this a second to dry. And then once you've done it, it should look something like this. Then one of these will become the face area. And then this will be the belly. So. We can take our little arms. This one is going to be my face. These two four are going to end up being like the front of the belly. So if we squish this down, we can slide our little arm in here and you can put it as far as in as you want or out as you want. You will put a little glue on the end of the wing right in this area. And then we're just going to push it in and glue, uh -oh. and glue his little arm on. Okay. 
So we can go ahead and do that. There you have his little wing. And then I'm going to do the other side. There we have it. And then for his feet, I just used two little hearts. And they will go like so on the bottom. So his belly and this is going to be his feet. So we'll just take a little glue on the end. So now I'm just going to put one food on this square and one on this one. So there we have his little feet. For the face, I'm using this section here. So for his nose, I'm just taking the smaller heart and I'm going to glue it on like so right in the center and there we have his cute little nose now you can use i'm going to use the girl eyes for this one and you can place them anywhere you want on that square so i think i like that so i'm going to glue mine right there I didn't put any glue on the eyelashes, just the white part of the eye. Isn't she looking so cute? Now, the bow, since I'm doing a girl, I'm going to put it at the top. But if you're doing a guy, chicken, or if you want a bow tie for the girl, what you can do is squish it down here and put your bow. See, I have it. And when it pops up it will be glued like so so you, you could bend it a little if you want and then glue it down but i am going to put mine on the top so i think i'm going to glue it like so so i'm probably going to put a little glue behind the center little dot here and just a little behind this side and there we have it with her cute little bow Okay, guys, um, I'm going to use not the same thing that I used previously in the video because I had an issue with my sound when I was recording the last part of this. So I'm just going to go over um, how to put our chicken in the card. If you use the brad, your brad will look like this folded over on the bottom of our chicken. So what we need to do is squish our little chicken down. And this is the way it's going to be facing. And then we're going to get our piece out that we cut for an extra template. And you're just going to line it up to match your bottom piece. So I have it matched up. And then once we have it matched up, you're going to put it in your card how you want it to sit. So this card is a little bit different than our other one, than this one we're making. So keep that in mind. So I have it all lined up. A, good with how he's setting so we can close it to see if we like how he's setting and this is another reason why i chose this style of card base to make because on our card like this we don't get to see his face and i guess you could turn it around and have his face down here at this end so I'm good with how I have him. So I'm going to take my little chicken off. <clears throat> and then I'm going to get a pencil. And in our hole here, I'm just going to color it in. And then you can move this, our template off. We don't need it anymore. And then if you have a paper piercer, you can use that. I don't have one, so I'm just using this little guy 
and we can poke a hole all the way through. So we now have the hole there. So once we have the hole, we can turn our little chicken oven over and undo our bread. If you turn them upside down and do it this way, the bread won't fall out. And then we'll flip this over. And we're just going to feed our bread through the hole here. And then once we have it through, open your bread up. And it'll look like that. And then he gets to turn. Which, if you wanted, we could turn the chicken this way so it's down here. If you wanted to use the closure that needs no extra supplies, but you could use this closure if we turn it this way so you could see his face. And then you could put just chicken in on you this way. So just, you could change it up a little bit if you don't have magnets to use. And then for this one, this is what it turned out like. If we open it up, we have our little chicken. And I decided to give her some hair up there. And I did put this in the file. You'll see it, you just need to snip the edges off of it um, and it's next to the bow. And then I also added this little chick. I just put it on her arm right there, like so. And it lays just as well with the little chicken in there. And I love that we can spin this. But then we can close it up and turn it over and we have a place where we can write a message and that is where your brad will be hidden so you won't see it and to save paper i use one of my circles actually two of them that i cut off for the center of this and then for this piece i just snipped off the edges of the circle and then uh, snipped the corners off to have a place to write message and the flowers are from um, a previous card I did that I had extra of so I decided to put a couple of flowers on there do you guys know how chickens send their mail in envelopes <laughs> guys I want to thank you so so much for stopping by and crafting with me don't forget to stop by next week to see what's popping and dropping bye